Distinguished gentlemen, the money man is back. No, Luna, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Welcome to Double or Nothing, episode number two. Hopefully you've gotten the rules by now, but they're pretty simple. I start with a set coin count. I get to build the best possible team I can with that coin count. And if I can go on and win a head-to-head -head seasons game, I can progress to the next episode. Episode one obviously was the most difficult one, the season opener. Took a tough loss, and I got kind of lucky with some turnovers in game two, and we got our guy to quit, which was awesome. So episode two, 40,000 coins times two is 80,000 coins. That's what we got for today's team. So with 80,000 coins to build a team, I kind of want to think about last episode a little bit. By that, I mean what worked and what didn't. I think a mistake I made last episode was trying to make everything perfectly even. I think that works pretty well if you have 800,000 coins. But when I had 40,000 coins, I basically was just subpar at everything. So I feel like for this episode, what I want to do instead is actually establish a game plan and go for that game plan. So first things first, one thing I am certain of is if someone runs man coverage against me, I need one very good wide receiver who can beat man coverage. Now, there's not a ton of good options at this price, but the first purchase I want to make is 84 speed, six foot three, Robbie Anderson. If I'm getting absolutely boxed, I need to take Robbie Anderson, get him on a corner route or a zig or something, and that'll be my go-to guy. I'm also in the same boat as I was last episode for tight ends. Tight ends are just too important. Logan Thomas at 6'6", 250. I'm going to try him out. 7,000 700 coins. So we spent a lot already on a wide receiver and a tight end, but it should help us beat man. Next up, I want a really solid O-line, not just a mediocre O-line, but I want to go 78s or 79s. Jack Conklin, 2,600 coins, 78 overall. Right guard, we can get 79 Cesar Ruiz for 3,300. And let's go center. So that'll be the whole right side of my line. It's actually really solid. Rodney Hudson for 2,100. Not bad at all. Now I do need a quarterback and a halfback, of course. Hilariously, Deshaun Watson is actually my best option here. So Deshaun Watson's our quarterback. As far as budget quarterbacks go, he's actually really, really good. It's kind of like Malik Willis from last time, except he can throw the ball really well. I won't make the joke. I won't make the joke. I won't make the joke. I want to make the joke. I want to make the joke. By the way, people always ask where I get the coins for these videos. Normally, I buy packs, but packs have been horrible this year. EA's been extra greedy. So I've started working with Instant Madden Coins again. I worked with them in the past a ton. They sell Madden Coins on every platform. It's a significantly better deal than what EA's giving you in packs. You can use my code MMG for 10% off. And just use the link in the description. Don't try and type it in. There's a lot of scam websites. Just use the link in the description. Of course, we have a halfback too. And thanks to the Legends challenges, this Ladanian Tomlinson is actually very cheap. 82 speed, 82 excel. Pretty damn good halfback for this price. So we didn't even spend over half. And I already like this lineup so much better than first episode. So here's how it looks right now. We've got a really solid right side of the line, mediocre left side of the line, one good wide receiver, a good halfback, good quarterback, good tight end, giving me some wheel em up vibes. Now defensively, let's look at the studs that we need in every position. We'll see if we have any anything left over to potentially do offensive line. Nick Cross was amazing last time. He's still a really good buy, so I'm going to keep going with him. Tyson Anderson is still an awesome, strong safety, so I'm not going to mess with that either. Core elite Legereus Sneed. I want one stud corner, and he's very, very good. 85 speed, 6 foot, 193. And he doesn't have, like, horrible coverages, so he's really good. Another really good corner, 78 overall, Dante Jackson. 83 speed, 83 excel, 88 jump. It's only 5'10", but I think for 3,200 coins, I'll survive. And I'm gonna go super budget on my last corner. You guys remember this guy from like Madden 20 or 21, dude? People used to run him. All oh, no way. Are there none on the auction house? Damn, there's none on the auction house. I was looking for Troy Abke. Now, Caleb Farley has this really good 82 overall, which I'll probably use down the line, but I can't really afford that right now. There is a 74 overall Caleb Farley. He's still fast. He's still six foot two. I'm going to go with him as my third corner. I am going to use a strong safety as my user middle linebacker in nickel, and I want this to be a really good player. I think I should kind of go big on a user. This is honestly so expensive for this being the 80,000 episode, but holy shit, this is the nastiest user you can get. I might even use him in next episode too. 84. 
five speed, 85 Excel, six foot one, Kyle Duggar, 11,850 coins. That hurts. But I want a good user. I was trying to use a Trayvon Walker last episode. It's too damn slow. So Kyle Duggar it is. My strong safety will be Tyson Anderson, the silver again. He's got 82 speed. And I just spent a lot on strong safety. So this Jamin Davis right outside linebacker, very solid. 6'4", 81 speed. And he's 3,300 coins. So we'll take that for an outside linebacker. Left outside linebacker, I'm going big boy Aiden Hutchinson. He's very slow for an outside linebacker, but he's 6'7". So I'm kind of going to be sending him off the edge and hoping he can do some crazy shit. More like an edge rusher than a true linebacker. Definitely not going to be in coverage. I will be picking up a D tackle. If you're on a budget like me, Travis Jones is a very good option. 79 overall. 79 block shed, 86 strength. No, it's nothing impressive. You're not going to get much at this position, so I'll take it. Now, instead of getting left end and right end, I'm actually going to go left tackle, left guard right now. See if I can get some decent players. I'm going to go Becton. 77 overall. Ooh, that coin count is dwindling. We can get 78 overall Jonah Jackson. Jackson for 2,850. Not bad. It'll leave us with just enough for a left or right end or a middle linebacker. I just realized I don't have a middle linebacker. Technically, I have my sub linebacker. I can get Devin Lloyd for literally 500 coins, 600 coins. So we'll do that. And then our last 2,000, that's a middle linebacker. And our last 2,000, I will spend on a right end. Our options are Devontae Bond, Derek Barnett. That is literally uh -huh. it. I'll leave us with 250 coins. Wow, we are just bread it up. Yeah! Generating our best lineup. We're a 76 overall. We were a 74 last episode, but we have way more star players to actually make plays for us. That's what I'm really excited about. Let's start with Sean Watson. One of the goats, baby. Let's give him run and gun, one of my favorite abilities. I'll actually just give him Homer to try and activate run and gun faster. Rarely use those abilities, but this is a good example of when you might. Ladanian Tomlinson, he could probably just get freight train and recuperation. There's freight train right there. There's recuperation. My final ability will be on Logan Thomas, who I'm gonna give double me. I did this last time with Friar Muth. Never panned out, but would have been cool if it did. So double me and then Homer. In fact, you know what I've never understood? There's this thing called indoor baller, reduced zone objectives in domed stadiums. So if your home stadium is a domed stadium, you should always run indoor baller because not only could you get it for your stadium, but your opponent's stadium could be domed in. It's not a very good ability anyway, so who cares? But I always wondered about that. All right, so offense is decked out just a little bit. Got some bizarre abilities, but we'll make it work. Defensively, I really like how this looks in comparison to what we had before, honestly. Uh, mainly Kyle Duggar. I think this is going to make a massive difference. I'm going to go Zone Hawk on him. And as for abilities, he probably doesn't get much either. I'm just going to give him recuperation. I really don't see that working too much on my user, but I've got abilities to spare on defense. A lot of abilities to spare, actually, because the only... Ooh, so Eric Allen can't be in. I always make that mistake. My bad, my bad. Well, Legereus Sneed, I do want to give an ability. I'm going to give him universal coverage and recuperation. I don't know. If, if there's someone's got like a DK Metcalf over there, he might be getting winded. It ain't much, but it's honest work, baby. This is our squad for 80k. And although we're only two overalls higher, I actually think this team is so much better. Jamin Davis and Aiden Hutchinson, they're going to be beasts. Nick Cross was amazing last episode, so excited to have him back. We have an actual D-line to some degree. Not amazing D-line, but to some degree. Got Kyle Duggar as our user, Dante Jackson, Caleb Farley, Legereus Sneed, and offensively, Deshaun, Ladanian Tomlinson, Bobby Anderson, and Logan Thomas. And a full offensive line this time. They may not be gods, but it's full. All right, I really like this team. 80,000 coins, I'm ready to hop in. By the way, I really like the 80,000 coin mark because if you just hopped into Madden for the first time ultimate team and played like all the solos for two hours-ish, you would have 80,000 coins if you just completed all the solos. That's like so easy to get. Two hours in, you could have a team just like this. It's nothing to show off to your friends, but let's go see if we can get a dub with him. Deshaun Watson, Legereus Sneed, TJ Watt, Chase Young, and Blooper Bloppington. Wow, I never see that Cooper Cup because nobody took it for the pre-order. It's pretty dope, actually, to see. I'm in the wrong formation. Ooh, this is no good. Well, we do have Devin Lloyd and Hutchinson. In fact, this is actually better because this defense stops the run better than Nickel does. So that worked out pretty well. All right, Kyle Duggar. Get him out of bounds. Thank you. All right, so we've got Aiden Hutchinson on one side and Jam and Davis on the other. And the what happened to the colors? Does it look like someone just turned down the saturation by about a million? Massive hit. Look at Kyle Duggar's hair. It's bright white. Oh my God, it did. Something's uh -huh. wrong. Look at Kyle Duggar's hair. He's got chic white silver hair. And we just got a heater. What the fuck is going on? Hey! 
Nick Cross once again. All right, we're going to try a stretch to LaDainian Tomlinson. That's got some room, baby. Love to see that. Let's go. Second and five. Be able to make some good throws against this. Uh-oh. I got screamered off that edge. That Chase Young is going to be a problem. I think the slant over the middle's there. LaDainian Tomlinson just barely. Uh-oh. Didn't get the first, though. It's fourth and inches. Yes, sir. Two easy. That's how you beat man coverage right there, baby. Great work. Let's see if he switches to zone. Oh, it's not. Uh-oh. Heater. Intentional grounding. In that scenario, there were three options. Intentional grounding, sack, uh, interception. Oh, okay. That looks not like man necessarily. LaDainian Thomas, a nice broken tackle. He's not down yet, and now he's officially down, and I fucking only gained a yard from that. Oh my god, that sucked. Um, shit, man. I'm not getting any time. He's got the Minister of Defense. This team is cracked, man. I'm gonna go on Legereus Sneed for it. Play action? We're on everything. Oh, I can't get there. Wait, yes, I can. Yes, I can! Oh, Legereus Sneed! He threw that madly, and we are just barely able to get a foot down. Dude, it kind of looked like I was out of bounds. I don't know if they called that right. I touched the ball before it went out, coach. All right, let's try and run at the teeth of the defense. He's definitely going blitz every fucking time. Damn, mad open here. Nice. I really liked that. Ah, it's only two yards. Ooh, just barely able to get off the St. Brown. It's fourth and seven. I knew this man coverage was going to be really tough for us to stop. Oh, Ogletree's there, though. Hey, the silver! I don't know why. Logan Thomas must be like a slot tight end or something. I don't really know why. I'm going to go Tomlinson for the little check down. Yup, break the tackle. Hard cut. Let's go! Tomlinson! What a play! Beast, dude. We fought off the man blitz. We're able to get one. I'm going for two here. What a play. LaDainian Tomlinson, that was incredible. Incredible. He's there. He's there. He's there. Amon Ra. 69 overall Amon Ra St. Brown. 8-0. to zero. Great start. Legereus Sneed's X Factor's all lit up. Hey, way to get back there. Then Legereus Sneed cleans it up. It's got to be a pass now. Yeah, you got to be too frustrated to... Bro. Look at X Factor Legereus Sneed. What a pickup. What a monster pickup. He might all the way... Oh, Justin Fields is going to ankle bite. Stops him at the two. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. <gasps> Dude, I'm not even proud of that. He, he he actually came over with a user. I would quit too. Holy shit, he quit fast. <laughs> well, shit, I don't want to do you guys that dirty. Listen, we did get our dub here in double or nothing, but I'm going to play one more. I don't want that to be the only bit you saw from this team, but I will say I'm very proud of this team. I see Legereus Sneed. That's all that matters to me. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? It's really not that scary. It's scary, but it's not that scary. All right, starting on offense in this game, I'm just going to get weird with my play calling. Oh, you're kind of there. Oh, shit. Oh! Silver Amonra St. Brown with the moss. I would mold. I'm kind of looking for Ladanian Tomlinson or Logan Thomas, but oop, hard cut. Ouch. Look at the wheel route. Deshaun, get your dick out of your ass. Oh my God, that was money. I hope he comes out in cover two again, bro. Please, it's fourth and 10. A little unlucky to say the least. I think we fight our way out of it though with Logan Thomas. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Fourth and 10, big conversion. Deshaun redeems himself. Let's look for Logan Thomas coming across here. Uh, no, but Y is open. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right, let's just go. Let's just go early to Ogletree. Way to stick it out. Third and eight. I don't mind it. I've got an angle. No. Oh, he almost, dude, he literally almost kicked that ball out of bounds. Run that back, bro. He, he hit it with his toe. It almost went out of bounds. But he does pick it up. Nice play. Nice play. Just going to have to take the L on that one. Hey, great defense. Um, dude, you're so pissed. Poverty, I've read that like a book. Where are you going? It kind of worked. Whatever he did kind of worked. I was, trying to, I was trying to goof around. Can I just go up top, Bobby Anderson? Let's just go up top, Bobby Anderson. Give him a fade. That is exactly how you throw a high ball. It's LB. Give him the high ball. That's kind of fun, though. It's kind of fun to throw. I'm going to go Tomlinson underneath. Does he see it? Ah, a little bit. Okay. Oh, I needed to make a better move there. Fourth and goal. I'm going to send Ogletree across his face so he gets spooked out and doesn't go to Logan Thomas. That didn't work, but you're there. And he caught it, and I'm on the wall. <laughs> All right, safety. We're getting a safety with this squad. That's what we're doing. Fakes the snap. We're in there. Safety. Let's go. He really tried to have back dive it out of there, bro. What a stuff. I don't even know who got that, but I'm proud of him. Ooh. 
What a beauty. You know who's our... I, why is Amonra St. Brown 69 overall silver my receiving leader? I think that's a good thing to know for future episodes, though. You can really go cheap on wide receivers and they'll just play. They're not greedy, bro. Ooh. They'll just... Okay. That actually bonked you in the face. Like, literally bonked you in the fucking head. I'm gonna go inside zone here. I'm going at the teeth of his defense, but he must have guessed pass. That was incredible blocking. And his blocking is just too good for me to not run it. Bobby Anderson. Oh, he caught it in the face of the user. He doesn't see it. Great catch. Wait for the blocks. Great blocks. Beautiful. This will take us to the two-minute warning. Whatever we can whatever we can squeeze out of this play right here, which is not much. The D linemen are, are not having my shit today. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute with some nice blocks four yards on a run play we're gonna run flood here if i can pick up a first down i can really milk this clock oh i think robbie anderson's so open dude look at robbie anderson on the seam snap throw easy oh he's not quite in but a great a great read by deshaun watson aka uh -huh. myself cut it back up oh my god it's too easy let's drill this pat look at that cut what a block too hanging on to our two possession lead one touchdown and a safety Damn, just like that, things can change. I gotta remember, my team's still not good enough to cover kicks necessarily. Although I wasn't paying too much attention there, I'm not even gonna lie. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna make this work. Look at that. Oh, block! Usually you block for your halfback, but you know what? You just do whatever you want, buddy. Just gonna pick up yard after yard, eat away at clock after clock. He's gonna be so infuriated, but sadly, there's nothing he can do. This game will be over. He bites! We keep with Deshaun. Does he switch on? No, he really didn't switch on. He's hoping to make a nasty move. That's okay, though. I know what coverage this is. It means Logan Thomas is open after one. There he is. Lol. It's a good accuracy pass, and he doesn't even jump for it. He's just going to sit there and just let it go. I don't understand. I really don't, but whatever. You know what? This guy has still not scored a single offensive touchdown. So I'm confident in our ability to keep him out. Play action. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, wow. I met him right there. Trayvon Walker makes that tackle right there. Damn. DeMarco Murray just prancing through the middle right now. Miles Sanders goes down. Nice stop. Third and six. He might just be gearing up for field goal, literally. Whoa. What a route. Torched my guy, but he was out of bounds. He's gonna, oh my God, he's going for it. Probably the same play, no? Get there! Oh my God, he got that. I was there to cover that. I thought it was the same play. He threw it underneath. He made a really good play. Okay, this is good. What? They're two feet in on that? We're there. What a stop. He lost a yard. Third and three from the four now. God, we're making so many monstrous defensive plays. He's got to be passing again. He is. Oh, yes! 74 overall, Caleb Marley. With a goal line stop. Let's go. He got so greedy. Take your field goal, sir. Jeez. LaDainian Tomlinson broke a huge tackle right there. Otherwise, I was going to be looking at the exact same play, exact same yardage. All right, second and five. Deshaun could have a really good keeper here. See what it says. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Yes, sir. Great blocks. Let's go. Just dive forward. Take your first down. No more than that. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Get to the edge. <gasps> what a run. LT. I hard cut the user too, but the computer got me. 10 rushes, 70 yards, and a touchdown. It's a 7,000 coin halfback right there. I think he's just gonna let this game end. It doesn't seem like he wants to call any timeouts to, to try and slow me down. Let's go! Nine to seven. Anticlimactic victory. I really would have liked if my opponent had called those timeouts and really tried to force it to be the game it should have been, but a nine to seven victory. The safety gives us the W. That was an awesome game. Watson, 15 for 22. No touchdowns and an interception, so not the best game from him, but Danny and Tomlinson was the highlight. 11 attempts, 73 yards, average six and a half. He had a touchdown. He did have a fumble. That sucked. And, and a big broken tackle. And then receiving, he was my main receiver to seven receptions, 39 yards. Really nice work. I had 250 coins remaining. All those coins I just got were from leveling up my season pass, I think, or something like that. But to review, with 250 coins remaining, we had 80,000 coins to spend to build a team in Double or Nothing episode number two. We got some studs. I, this strategy was so much better than the strategy we went with on 40,000. Granted, yes, I had less coins on 40,000, but we had a game plan, which was let's play through our studs. Screw wide receiver two, screw wide receiver three, screw the D-line. Let's just go at it. 
and you know what? We played really, really well. Kyle Duggar, although expensive, was an amazing buy. He was such a good user. Definitely had a pick. And Legarius Sneed also played amazing. Nick Cross did too. But I think the MVP was probably LaDainian Thomason of both games. He was a stud. All right, boys. Hey, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. What an awesome video. Can't wait for episode number three, where I double that coin stack of 80,000 into 160,000. I'll build a squad from there, get a dub. Then we'll go on to 320,000, 650, 1.3 mil, 2.6 mil. It's going to come up quick, as you can tell. Either way, I love you, boys. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.